Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Hello, Tim. How are you today? What's up, DeAndre? What's, I'm chilling. That's good. I'm happy to talk to you because this is a favorite cartoon of mine. I love all the little hat tips in there to old cartoons that I've seen before, Tom and Jerry's. But I wanted to talk to you first about the process. You have a huge comedy background and being at the helm of that. How does that change when you're bringing it into animation elements and to realism elements? How did that challenge you as a director or was it even different at all? You know, I tried to keep it as, as, as close to what I normally do as possible. I, I kind of, it's weird. It's like before, you know, you're always, you know, you're always working with actors who bring a certain, you know, certain choices, but at the same time, you feel like it's in the tone of what you're going for. And here you're, there's two characters specifically the, that are the stars of the movie who you have to kind of make choices for um, constantly. So you actually find yourself acting a little bit, maybe not physically on the set and doing things, but you have to kind of figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, what you think might be funny when they do it and so forth and so on. So that's what made it, I, I guess the word difficult is, but just made it different. You know, I just had, hadn't done it this way. You know, normally you might have an idea, the, the actor does it kind of their way, but it comes out sort of like you wanted it. But here I had to completely come up with it um, and then present it and then have the actors deal with it or, or respond to it. And then of course in post, try to recreate what you thought it might be like. And sometime hopefully you uh, find better ideas than you had on set. So it was um, different, but at the same time, it was kind of, it, at some point I kind of clicked into it. It felt like um, I, I could do this um, over and over again. It was cool. I mean, I like that Tom and Jerry still looks kind of vintage. Like the yeah. Tom and Jerry I remember, like not super over stylized and the way they, they fit into the environment. If they moved, let's say, speaking of, you know, you felt like you could do this over and over again. If you had to move Tom and Jerry to the West Coast for a sequel, because I know you are a West Coast guy. I'm in Inglewood right now. What go. would be the soundtrack? I like the Tribe and the Eric B for this version. What would be the West Coast version of Tom and Jerry? Oh, well, I would probably, I'd have to go like far side. I gotta, I gotta, you know, maybe they couldn't talk about certain things, but I gotta keep it fun. Like, you know, you, you want to go NWA, but you can't go there. Um, so <laughs> That's all another movie. can't exactly go there. Yeah, I'd probably have to even mess around with some uh, a young MC. I'd have to keep it hmm. fun, upbeat, kind of, um, you know, danceable kind of stuff, you know. So I would probably go that direction. I like that. Maybe a little MC Bree, you know, that might there, be Now we're cool. talking, now we're talking. So here is the age old, one of the age old questions that I have and people always mention to me. Tom can make sounds of pain, but Tom can't talk. Why can why can't talk? Why can't Tom talk? And if Tom could talk, what would he sound like? Do you think? Oh my gosh! Um, well, I always when I first got this movie, I went back and looked at the original Hanna Barbera cartoon, which started in the '40s and went to about late '50s or like one one or two years into the '60s, and I kind of used that as my rule book. And in that in those shorts. Tom did talk like maybe a handful of times. He might break the fourth wall and say something to the audience. But for the most part, he never talked. Uh, definitely in Jerry, uh, I don't believe he ever talked. And I just took that as my rule book, knowing that, um, you know, this is what they did. And knowing that so many other characters did talk, there was some specific choice that Hanna-Barbera made to make sure that these characters never spoke. So I kind of took my, my um, you know, kind of my, uh, my rules from that, that era. And then in terms of what he would sound like, ooh, that's a hard one. Um, <laughs> that's a real hard one. I'm, 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 I'm tempted to say maybe, maybe I'd have to call in and either get uh, Anthony Anderson and and uh, and uh, ask my friend Kevin Hart to do the voices or something like that. Those are some good choices. Thank <laughs> you so much, Tim. I enjoyed it. You do a wonderful job, and uh, thank you for oh, your time today. Thank you. Talk Take to care. You. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.